Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Angular 15 folder structure. In the previous video, where we have discussed like how we create our Angular first application in Angular 15. And apart from that, we have seen what is the system environment we needed to create an Angular 15 file. So all those things we have seen in the previous video. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch previous video of this tutorial series. Now let's understand like how we create like basically what is the folder structure of the Angular 15. So before that, let's understand a couple of the uh, like important or the useful command which we need in the Angular 15. Now for an example, if we want to check the node version, then we can go node-v. So through that we can get the node version. Similar to that, we have the uh, to get the npm version, we have the npm v. Angular version, we have the ng-v. If in your system ng-v is not working, then you can use ngv command also. To install the TypeScript, we have the npm install g TypeScript. And to install the latest Angular CLI command, then we have the npm install g Angular slash CLI. If you want uh, to install a specific version of the Angular, then here, uh, like what we have to do, we have to give that version name as well. Now, these all are the uh, command we have seen in the previous video while when we were creating our Angular new project. Now, if you want to create a Angular application, then we have ng new and the project name which you have given. Like whatever the project name you want to give, you can give here. Now, if you like after creating the Angular application, if you want to compile your application, then you can uh, give ng sub. If with the compilation you want to run your angular application also then you can go with the ng serve o what happened with this like when you will give this command it will build the application and it will open your angular application in localhost 4200 path now if you want to build the application we have the ng build command as well so these are the couple of the useful command we have in angular 15 which is generally we use and uh, basically like once create the project ng serve and ng serve o we regularly use it to build or to serve the application so now like in the previous application this was the uh, application which we created and we have seen when we create the application so this is the basically a folder structure so th this is the default folder structure if you will go in the previous angular version you will see a folder structure in the similar way but the thing is like as the version changes so it uh, give the performance uh, uh, like it improved the performance and apart from that couple of the library those are not stable in the, so in the updated versions we uh, like uh, angular team stable those api or the you know, like whatever the modules we have those things so like what are the new features and the uh, like what are the performance improvement done by the angular team in the angular 15 we have already discussed in the previous video if you want to check out you can see in this tutorial series so where we have discussed all those so now let's discuss about the folder structure of this angular application so here you can see this is the angular application so here we have the ng module so basically like this is the uh, visual studio code so it has couple of the json file here we have the angular folder so it has like some of the libraries so basically these files is basically related to the libraries and here we have the another library like some important files that is the angular.json package log.json and package.json and these are the ts config file so a couple of the related like here the spec so basically spec file indicate about the testing file so these are the files which we are going to uh, talk about in this video and apart from that we have one another is the src folder so, so this is the important folder wherever like in the uh, future we are going to create any module component services so all file is going to create under this src folder so let's discuss about uh, like all these files one by one so now if we talk about uh, uh, like about the src folder so before that if you want to download uh, like visual studio code even you can download it from here in the previous video we have seen another link where from there also you can download visual studio so visual studio code help us to open angular project and it help us 
like to read the TypeScript language very easily. So now let's discuss about the SRC folder first. So this folder which contain the necessary code files related to the Angular application. So that as I told you, like uh, if we are going to create the component or any services or any module or pipes. So this is the SRC folder where all the file exist. Now the next thing is the app folder. So if you will go here under this SRC folder, we have the app folder. App is means all the application or the file sit inside this one. So here you can see it contain the app routing module, app component, HTML, spec file and component and the module file as well. So here app uh, folder, it contains the file which we have created for app component and following are the file which comes under this one. So first is the app component of CSS. So basically here, if you will go in app component or CSS file, it is basically as the name says dot CSS. So this CSS is basically style uh, like a style for the specific component. So here you can see app component, app component, HTML or TS. So this CSS is basically specific for this HTML. So in the future, if you are going to create any component, so while creating those component, the CSS, HTML and testing file in the this TS file will generate automatically. So when we will talk about the component, we will uh, discuss more about like about all these files. So this is the CSS file. So basically like it is related only for this app component. If you want to write any global CSS, those are applicable for all the component, then you can write that file under this style.css. So this is the place where you can like a generic CSS you can write. Now here is the HTML file. So basically like when you uh, want to design something for a particular thing, so you can write here. It is testing file. So spec.ts. So when we create any uh, like uh, I will say component. So that spec file is basically help us to write the unit test cases. Another is the component.ts file. So basically it is a logical file I would say. Uh, and here we write all the logic related to the like for an example I want to get the data from, uh, through the API. I want to push the data. I want to show something into the HTML. So all those logics we write inside this app component.ts file and here you can see like it contain uh, temp URL. So here you can see it is basically a root path. So this is the uh, like unique for every component. It contain like um, for which uh, basically HTML it is connected this component and the CSS. So this is the basically a component file which we are going to discuss more in the details about this component. And another is the app.module.ts file. So it is a generic like when we are going to create any a component or the module so all those uh, like reference we have to give here so about the modules we are going to discuss in the next video so this is the uh, like uh, common line like i would say like it basically like the place where we keep all the modules component or provider so basically here the services comes all those things we give as in reference here so that is about the src folder here we have discussed so like as i told you app model.ts it is also a typescript file so uh, which consists of all the dependency for the website the data is used to define the needed module has been imported so here like basically we do the component uh, declaration and the main element to be boot state so these uh, uh, this is about the app model.ts file now next is like couple of the important file we have in angular 15 and first is the angular.json file so it is basically a configuration file where we have about the structure of our application so when you will go into the angular.json file so here you can see like all the configuration related to the, our application is uh, like uh, we have put here so like uh, configuration in the sense like common style and a set like a set in the sense like if i want to add any images or something so all the configuration is given here and this is the main file so here you can see main.ts so this is the first application like first file from here like if you'll go in main.ts file so from here it is like application will start from here so what it is doing here from here it is bootstrapping 
the module so from here it called to the app module.ts file so like from the main.ts it called this app module and all the configuration is happening here and from here like it go to the app component.ts file so all the configuration related things are happening under this angular.js file so this is the basically a configuration file next is the package.json so it is a npm configuration file it also includes the details of, of our website for an example if we have any dependency uh, like uh, so here you can see all the dependency like animation common compiler code forms so whatever the dependency we have in our application so all those configuration is basically we put inside the package.json file another is the package uh, log.json so it is auto generated and transform file that gets updated when npm does not uh, does an operation related to the node module and package.json file now for an example i have these dependency in my and like in this package.json if i want to upgrade something so all those related information is basically uh, comes inside this package log.json it is a read only file like uh, it's basically uh, auto generated file not read only we can add it uh, if we want but it is basically uh, like auto generated file we have here and all the configuration it contain now for an example like we have this angular tab kit so like from where it is coming so all the uh, related information this uh, package log dot json file contains so uh, these uh, like basically all the important file we have in the angular folder structure now in the next video we are going to discuss uh, like uh, as in we are going to discuss about the component uh, module and so many th things which comes in angular 15 so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you